We are back exploring life disruptors, and right now we're focusing on your thyroid health. And thyroid disease and cancers are more common than you think. It's reported up to 60% of people with thyroid disease don't even know they have it, which is why regular screenings are so important. Joining me once again with how easy it is to get screened is Dr. Rashmi Roy, a senior thyroid surgeon at Hospital for Endocrine Surgery and the director of Endocrine Surgery Program Development, Daria Bushayev. Thank you both so much for being here. Absolutely, thanks for having us. Thank you. So um, most people are, are asymptomatic. They don't know that they're walking around with thyroid disease, nodules, cancer. Yeah. Uh, screenings are paramount absolutely so thyroid screening is not protocol but we think that it should be uh, so the hospital for endocrine surgery has been doing this now for two years i've screened up to 600 women in the tampa bay area and two percent of them have been diagnosed with thyroid cancer that we've cured that, that they had no idea about that is unbelievable and I, I think it's so cool that you do offer this for free i mean you take this mobile device just like it's rolled into the bloom studio you take it out into the community and you, you've taken this up upon yourself to do so. So we wanted to show yep. how easy That's it scary. is. So um, I'm, this is my first ever thyroid screening. We didn't practice. We didn't uh, do an, one before. So you're going to see how it works with me real time. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to start on the right side of your thyroid. Okay. And we're going to go from your upper neck to lower neck. Okay. And we, we will look at the images on the screen on our ultrasound machine. And I'm just going to go from up and down. And your right side looks, looks pretty good. So this is the thyroid right here. This is her windpipe. All right, now we're going to go to the midline, to the isthmus, which is a little bridge that connects your right lobe and left lobe, and we'll look right there. See that right there, so that looks beautiful. And now to the left, left lobe of your thyroid, again from upper neck to lower neck, and your thyroid looks beautiful. Yep. Yeah. Nice Ooh. and healthy. That is a relief. <laughs> I mean, I, part of me is and like, wow, well, oh, thank you. That is, it's, it's just that quick and easy, but I, I wanted to, in case you're just tuning in right now, I had said in a previous segment that it had been recommended to me by a doctor that I get my thyroid screened and then I made the appointment, they canceled the appointment and I never was called to reschedule and so here I am years later getting it done for the first time. Right. I was holding my breath, had you found something, I would have shared it with the Bloom viewers anyways. If let's say I did have a problem that I found off camera, I would have shared it with them and shared the journey because it is that important to stress to people to get screened. Yep. Get screened, I tell patients all the time, knowledge is power, don't be afraid, because if we do find a thyroid nodule, if it is suspicious, you come in, we do a biopsy, we have the results in the same day, and you'll be cured. I mean, you, we can potentially cure a thyroid cancer by just taking out half of your thyroid gland. You may not even need thyroid medication. And that's all just due to a screening, you come in, you have surgery, you go home, and it's that easy. And, and, and again, what we just witnessed you do right now, this is what you do when you guys go out on these outreach programs across Tampa Bay. I'm sure you just set it up in one spot and women line up to get this done. That's exactly how it's done. Yes. Yeah, and, and it, it was so easy. It doesn't hurt. Yeah. It's, and it's non-invasive, right? I mean, you guys see how easy it's done. It doesn't hurt like a mammogram. It's not invasive like a pap smear. It's just so easy to do, and it's just... I think every woman over the age of 35 should at least get a screening ultrasound done. Because you say it, it is now becoming a leading cancer. Mm -hmm. it's, it's an issue. It's not yeah. like this is something rare right. that you, you yeah. know, would just arbitrarily get screened for. I mean, there's a real risk factor out there. It is, I mean, it's almost becoming an epidemic. I mean, that's a word that you don't want to really use, but it's that common. It's the fastest growing w cancer in, in women. And it's more common in women than it is with men. Correct. Three to four times more common in women than men. Now, I know there's a lot of theories out there about what triggers these thyroid issues or why they are on the rise. Mm -hmm. As a doctor, what do you believe? Yeah. So I think, and the thyroid community thinks that estrogen is obviously a causative 
factor. There has been no literature out there to actually have a causative link, but it's got to be, right? So mm -hmm. if you think women are, you know, it's more common in women than men, estrogen has to be related to it. We know risk factors, known risk factors are family history mm -hmm. um, and radiation exposure, although most patients don't have that, um, but those are the known risk factors. Okay, so we're, we're just going to stick what science has researched um, so far. Any other messaging that either of you would like to give to our viewers today about the importance of screenings just don't be afraid go out there get it done ask your doctors and and things that you can do at home actually um, so you can actually check this out on a website that we have it's called checkyournext.com I will walk you through a self check that you can do yourself it takes 30 seconds all you need are your own fingers and a mirror and you just feel around your neck feel for lumps and bumps even if you don't find anything at least you're getting to know your body so if you do that every month or so if a lump pops up you know to get an ultrasound thank you so much and i'm glad i've got you know, clear but you should definitely get checked we're going to share with story with you on bloomtampabay.com and we'll be back with more bloom right after this